Dennis Dodd article, right? This is, he wrote basically notes about realignment. And there were a lot of interesting tidbits. I'm going to go, you know, piece by piece through some of this. But we'll start off with Big Ten and SEC expansion beyond 16 could have legal ramifications. We'll go ahead and pull up the article here. It says further expansion could create legal problems. It says the only conference commissioner to run a 16-team league in the modern era has a warning for the SEC and the Big Ten. Beware of the legal ramifications of expanding beyond 16. Carl Benson, who was the former commissioner of the old WAC, presided over 16 members from 96 through 98 before the league collapsed on itself because, surprise, the money did not stretch far enough. It says, when BYU was left out of the Bowl Alliance, the precursor to the BCS, despite becoming the first Division 1A, now FBS team, to win 14 games, Senate hearings were convened. It says the word collusion was tossed around as it related to college football's powers holding other programs at bay. Now, that word could pop up again. This is a big reason, I believe, why the Big Ten did not just go ahead and take Oregon and Washington or Stanford and Cal, etc. Because if you completely deplete another conference, you start hearing words like collusion, right? It, the damages that you do to another conference can end up becoming a way for them to uh, maybe uh, go after you in court, right? Uh, there is something on here that says, uh, if the Big Ten gutted a conference, uh, dot, 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 uh, George Klavkov might pursue antitrust action there. If you go too big and you take too many teams from another conference to where they are just completely gutted, yeah, you could absolutely get into that kind of a situation. Because at one point, we did have the Power Five. Now we're down to the Power Two, really. And I could see it. I could maybe see it. So this could be the reason why the Big Ten only decided to take two from the West Coast as of right now. You know, Kevin Warren talked a big game at Big Ten Media Days. I don't necessarily know that they are going to expand further because it does get a little bit more complicated. Right there was something else in this uh, in this article. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, let's see. Let's pull it back up. Big Ten interest has cooled on Pac-12 teams. I don't think it cooled at all. I don't think there's anything different. We talked about this on the last show. Uh, Dennis Dodd did say after the anxiety caused last week regarding further Big Ten expansion, industry sources have indicated the Big Ten is no longer as interested in adding California, Oregon, Stanford, and Washington. Uh, it says rights holders were balking at paying the same amount for those schools as the 16 Big Ten schools going forward. That's 80 to $100 million in total revenue. Now, I do get where they're coming from because I don't believe those schools are worth as much. But if you are looking to secure a late-night window, etc., then you're going to have to try and figure out exactly what you want to do. Now, again, if the Big Ten decides to go with NBC, CBS, and Fox. I don't know how interested any of those will be in a late-night window, maybe Fox with FS1, but for the most part, eh, I mean, if you go with CBS, maybe you work out a deal with CBS Sports Network and you toss UCLA and Rutgers on CBS Sports Network at 1030. I mean, maybe. We'll have to see how that exactly works out, but for the most part, you're not going to have to worry with it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.